I went to see a baby hippo today. Oh, neat. Went to the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo where they have a uh, mama hippo and a baby hippo and then two other adult hippos. And we went, they do like a feeding exhibition. So we went to like the feeding demo. And what was very cool was like they were just letting the hippos finish eating before they closed the zoo for the day. And I was just hanging out by myself while my friend went to the ladies' room contentedly watching the hippos eat. And the keeper came over and was like, do you want to, do you want to get in closer so you can get better pictures? And I was like, yes. So she kind of let me behind like the passenger gate where like I could have reached out and touched them, but I was like, that is probably not smart. No. But I was like, I was like this far from a baby hippo today. Oh, well, I'm so cute dinner. before they understand murder. It was very cute. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and you didn't bring it home? No, they didn't let me bring it home. No, you're you're not supposed to bring the baby hippo home because then the mother hippo will come with you, whether you like it or not. Yeah, and, she, and she'd be real mad. And honestly, I, I, I think the cats might be a little mad. A little. Oh my god. So uh we have yet another week of nonsense as we are used to have around here. Let me see here. Put that there. All right. That was relatively quick getting started to say from the you know headphone things, but all right. Let's get the intro going. There we go. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? I could not do this first story. There's there literally no way around doing this first story because geeks. I put. And it's, this is, I wouldn't exactly call it art imitating life. I would call it stupid, goofy comedy imitating life. Let's get it out of the way now. He tried to kill me with a forklift. Literally. Like, like for fucking real, like not even kidding. For fucking real. And it gets it, it gets better when we actually get into the story. Where get my where's my words here? There we go. Portland man laughed maniacally while chasing pedestrian in stolen eighty thousand dollar forklift. Portland man was accused of stealing an eighty thousand dollar forklift from a Portland State University parking garage and driving it erratically for at least fifteen blocks through downtown. Laughed maniacally as he chased a pedestrian and shouted to passersby, quote, I literally stole this. Oh, his name. <laughs> Honey. Jeff Zelinsky. Is it Joffrey? Is it not? It I mean, it looks like Joffrey to me. It looks like but Joffrey. He's probably too it's old to have been named actually after Joffrey Baratheon. J-O-F-F-R-E, so yeah. 30 years old, was arrested and released from jail Tuesday after police say he stole a construction forklift parked behind a locked fence. We have no motivation here. We have no, no, nothing. Just going through his day, Joffrey decided, hey, I'm going to steal that forklift. I mean, who among us hasn't been in a parking garage and seen an unattended for forklift and just been like, mine? Yeah, I've never done that. And then driving it around the city. Never. Acting like a maniac. Never fucking never. Fucking never. And screaming, I, I stole this. this. I, I forget. I forget which Muppet movie it is. Has ruined the phrase laughing maniacally for me because I just maniacal picture Chris laugh. going maniacal laugh, maniacal laugh. It maniacal was it was laugh. the Muppet. What it was that reboot one? Yeah, that had the 
what's his name Muppet Walter or whatever. Oh yeah, with like Jason Siegel. Yeah. Yeah, it was that one. Yeah. Wh- who the why the I have in my day generally I have a lot of things I have to take care of. Even if I'm just around here, there is shit I need to take care of. Ain't nobody got time for this shit. (laughs) No. Who is going to go, well, I need to get to the pharmacy. I've got to pick up my prescriptions. And I also need to take these back. I've got stuff I have to take back. Like forklift. Free for, free forklift my ass. When they put it behind a fence, that's a little more effort than just yoink. That's some work went into that. Someone in the chat, I'm going to kill you in five, five minutes. minutes. So, just an interjection: the zoo I went to today, if you're not familiar with Colorado, is built into the side of Cheyenne Mountain, which is also. I think, if I recall correctly, where NORAD is. Yeah. So we put a bunch of cute animals on top of it. And the Stargate. Great idea. Yeah. Yeah. So nuclear target, mountain, cute animals. Just so you get an idea. Right. But, so that means, like, to do any of the zoo, you're you're going uphill. And I get really tired really easily these days, so I rented the little scooter. And I did the little old lady scooter thing because otherwise I was not getting around the zoo today. And I literally, like, there was one point where I was doing, like, the 400-point turn from Austin Powers because I just got myself cornered. And, like, those things have a really loud beeping when you have to back up. They do. So. That was awesome. Of I was all, awesome today. Of all the fucking things to do with your... I'm like, I'm sitting here, I got too much to do. <laughs> Stealing fucking but forklifts. You do, well, you could do all those things from a forklift. I'm sorry, I can't go to the pharmacy inside the fucking Walmart with the fucking forklift. They kind of frown on that <laughs> shit. I mean, you could, you could you'd park it. But, like, do you want to pull up to the Walmart in a Nissan Sentra or a forklift? It's a stolen forklift. I won't be pulling out much anywhere after that shit. Well, I mean, yeah, there is that. All right, next one is, did you ever have to have your mom come to the school, but she wasn't mad at you? She was mad at school? No, but my sister did. And in that instance, my mom sent my dad, who was big and Irish and angry. So, I, I, so I'm i halfway to understanding where this lady came from. But only halfway, because the rest of the way is stupid. Unhappy mom hits staffer. Bites officer after meeting at child's school. What? A parent is accused of hurling threats at school staff before biting a police officer outside her child's middle school, authorities in Georgia say. Officers were called just before 10 a.m. March 31st about a disturbance at Beacon Hill Middle School in Decatur. The 31-year-old woman... This website has a lot of pop-ups. Meh. Sorry, I'm still closing pop-ups. The third, the 31-year-old woman who has a student at the school was in the front office speaking with administrators when things escalated. Quote, I should fucking say so. Unhappy with what she was being told, school staff said the parents started to spew expletives and threats at them. According to a news release, she then stormed outside where she was met by police. Outside of the school, the suspect continued to loudly and boisterously uh, act loudly and boisterously, disrupting the school. It was informed she was under arrest. A struggle ensued, during which police said the woman struck an employee and bit an officer. She was eventually arrested. Honey, why would you put a cop in your mouth? Good God, do you know where they've been? 
What was the meeting about? Pretty sure when a cop gets finished with a, you know, a shift, they have to, like, de-louse his ass. Yeah, what was the meeting? What got you so fucking riled up you decided to become a living Tasmanian fucking devil cartoon? Yeah. Because if it was a behavioral issue with your child, I think I might know where it comes from. <laughs> Man, I'm... <laughs> Todd Abbey says, you wouldn't bite a cop. No, you wouldn't. You can't just bite people. Yeah, you'll That's catch something. Zombie outbreaks. There you go. Also, we already have COVID. Well, it's still a thing. I don't mean zombies, though. To just to to act a fucking fool. In the have you never been to school before? They don't play. They ain't got time for your shit. They know how to handle this behavior. They have to deal with it every day, and they're not paid enough. They're used to, they're used to it out of smaller people. Yeah, you're just a very large toddler at this point, lady. Because you, if, if, when you start screaming the F word in the middle of a middle school, yeah, you're, 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 you have problems going up. Because the kids are learning you things. Guys, can you imagine what? this is your mom? Oh, God, yes. Like, being in middle school is literally, like, the worst point in your life you're not really a teenager nope. you're not really a kid every part of your body is the wrong length yep like no nothing works right then you're kind of like not old enough where they've let you stop playing dodgeball yet for some reason everything is terrible yeah and then your mom <laughs> shows up <laughs> at school and acts like it's fucking 28 days later. <laughs> and your life is ruined. <laughs> yeah, they they will. Okay. If you don't move while you're in school, if you stay in one place your entire school, that shit never goes away. No one ever forgets. You are forever the kid whose mom bit a cop at school. Yep. Forever. Now, depending, that might make you the coolest child in the school. Yeah. Depending on the kids, but... Oh, Lupin the Eighth and Cheryl says, Mom of the Dead. <laughs> oh, good God. Like, don't do this to your kid. Uh, okay. Moving along. Oh, just don't bite people. It's gross and unsanitary. Throw things at them. Next up, we have uh, Poor Choice in Hiding Places. I don't know why it's got the wrong picture for the headline. This has nothing to do with the SUV in the lake. It seems like it should, considering our show, but it actually... would be a poor hiding place. This one's worse. Just on a visceral level. <sighs> there you go. Yes. 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 Yeah. A Florida man... My skin doesn't like it. A Florida man accused of burglary found himself in an itchy situation after authorities said he tried to hide from deputies by burying himself under a pile of home insulation. And the picture is... Just, that That's a nightmare right there. That's a scene out of a horror film. Like, you can feel it. Can you physically feel that picture? In an unusual term, and then the alleged thief scampered up to the attic and hid from the authorities under a pile of home insulation with his face near an air duct so he could breathe. When authorities arrived, they heard someone walking in the home's attic. Police also found a five-gallon bucket and insulation debris on the floor below the attic access. They quickly pieced together the mystery where the alleged burglar disappeared to. When the suspect refused to come down, you know what's about to happen, Tara. No, he's just gonna yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> Deputies, uh, 
picture of him. Yeah, look at that. That is not a good day. That's a bad day. Um, when the suspect refused to come down, deputies entered the attic with a canine unit that discovered 44-year-old Bruce Davis under a pile of insulation. Uh, Jesus. The, the, of all the places to hide, that is... Yeah. You, the, all I can think of is, what if I blink? Um. Literally, literally, no shower, no single shower is going to fix that for you. Like, you need the fire hose. Yes. Yes. That is... that. And you're... Oh! You know how... You ever, like... You ever, like, rub a cotton ball between your hands? And it just sends shivers down your spine? No. Never. It... What? Oh! It's the worst. That's what... Whoa! No. Cotton ball? What? You you don't have that problem with cotton? No. Or, like, if you if you accidentally, like, do this with it, it Tara. makes you shiver all over. Tara, it's the fabric of our lives. Not, not <laughs> like, fabric cotton. <laughs> I like, know. Like, I know. you know... Or like velvet? Oh, velvet is the worst. Really? I, that, that doesn't bother me. I guess it's just a totally different simulation. I have to sleep now with a little cap on because my hair is just long enough to feel like velvet. Ooh. To like stand up on the pillow and it's the fucking worst and I can't sleep. So I have to put a little like cap on my head. Because otherwise I'm on the pillow like... Er, 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 er. Oh, well, next up. Oh, boy. We're just, we're going to have a cavalcade this week. Um, I I cannot ever shake that whole set behind seven proxies meme. You remember that shit? This whole hacker is like, you can't find me. I'm behind seven proxies. It's like, it's a fucking copy pasta, I think. I, it's some kind of meme. Well, All the famous last words. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when, um. For your anonymity, what you're relying on is fucking 4chan. Oh. Another 4chan user has been arrested for allegedly threatening a crusading Florida sheriff, who noted the suspect, like the last one, lives with his mother. Tyler Meyer, there, there's a photo, that's a, that's a mugshot for you right there, 30, was picked up on Friday in San Diego and charged with making a written threat to kill or injure. He will be extradited from California. See you in sunny Florida, uh, Sheriff Mike Clintwood, uh, Chitwood, sorry, uh, posted on his Facebook with a mugshot. The arrest came just days after uh, Chitwood greeted another 4chan commenter, Richard Golden, at the airport where he was extradited from New Jersey for making similar threats. Chipwood has become, become the target of what he calls keyboard commandos for speaking out loudly and frequently against white supremacists who have infiltrated the country. Quote, oh, no. It's too bad Mike Chitwood isn't safe now that I'm planning to kill him, Meyer allegedly wrote on a 4chan board labeled politically incorrect. That's different. Quote, I'm going to shoot Mike Chitwood. I'm going to kill him by shooting him to death. End quote. He, he didn't even do that whole in Minecraft shit. You know? Yeah. Well, even on 4chan, you have an IP address. No, oh, 4chan's anonymous kids. It's, 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 what the fuck, you idiot? Like, how do people not know by now? The internet is no longer new. Nope. There was a time when it was new, and we were stupid, and we didn't know. The internet is no longer new. No, it is not. I don't understand how people still think the internet is anonymous. And to make it even better, guns and ammunition were seized from his home when the San Diego police showed up. So. You mean from his mom's home? Oh! Mom, now don't get send me alone. Don't get us wrong. There is, in this especially, this fucking economy these days, there's nothing wrong yeah. with having to live with family. Okay? Well, We've all. People are having to do it. However, 
there is a certain type of motherfucker who ain't never leave it. Not from any choice of their own. It's just, that's who they are. And, and, that's... and he so often looks exactly like this guy. Doesn't he just? And likes to, likes to babble on about the master race. Fucking idiot. This and is... I just always think of that little panel from Preacher. Master Race, where's your fucking chin? The fuck is your chin? Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, because in case you haven't noticed, it's been a little tense in America right now. We're not playing the fuck around. Everybody's a little on edge. Speaking of making it worse, okay. What I know, there's like Munchausen syndrome for people who make themselves sick to, or or who make yeah. other people sick to, or you, you know what I'm talking about. There's both. There, there's, I know there's a name for it when you put people in danger to be the hero. I know there's like a, a, a there, there, someone on, I'm sorry, there is. Someone, yeah. this is what YouTube comments are for. Someone will point it out. We will yeah. get a well, actually, like nobody's business. This dumb motherfucker, and of course it was Myrtle goddamn Beach. I have a, you might be sitting there going, Nash, why do you keep ragging on Myrtle Beach so much? What's your problem with Myrtle Beach? Man charged with bomb threat against Myrtle Beach High School was school security officer. You know what we need to stop all these school shootings is armed guards at all the schools. The 20-year-old charged with making a bomb threat against Myrtle Beach High School was employed as a security officer at the school. So what, like you graduated two years ago and then you became the school cop? Yep. That that's a lot. That's that's a little sad in a lot of ways. Like you old enough to shave at twenty? I you could not, like once I got out of my high school, bye, bye bye. I know right? you couldn't pay me. He's going back two fucking years later, right? Like the the only reason I went back to high school later was because my mom passed away and she was big with PTA and I had to tell like the teachers there because they were her friends. Okay, even that walking into high school felt weird as shit. Cause like. You don't belong. Somebody, anymore. somebody, somebody peaked senior year. Right. A statement from Horry County Schools uh, confirmed that Corey C Cody, sorry, I was about to say Corey, Cody, C O T Y, Cody Kennedy, 20, was an unarmed, quote, newly assigned security officer. According to the Myrtle Beach Police Department, Kennedy confessed to a written note threatening to, quote, blow up the school. School district said Kennedy's confessed to a fabricated, uh, to fabricating and presenting a hoax threat, charge of the bomb threat, conspiracy threat, threatening to damage or destroy a building. You know what's terrible about doing this shit when you're 20? You're not even legal to drink yet. You ain't even had your first. You are, but you are old enough to be charged right? as an adult. So you you fell into that terrible pocket. You don't even get your first legal fucking beer. And I know you people have beers before it's legal. But there is something about your first... You, you walk up to the counter, it's like, Yes, my good man, I would like to purchase your finest alcohols. <laughs> I shall have three alcohols, please. You know, there's something about there's no that. Reason, there's no reason why? Like, did he want the day off? No, I'm, I'm willing to... I, no, they don't give us the motive. My own guess is if you're the security officer and you leave a bomb threat about the place you're trying to secure, I bet you anything he was trying to be like, you know, fucking hero out of the situation. Be like, look, I stopped the bomb threat. But then wouldn't there need to be something for you to like find? Probably the note. That was probably what the note. Yeah, uh, that was probably. Okay. Yeah. You dumb motherfucker. Myrtle fucking. Like a pe PVC pipe wrapped in a USB cord, something. <laughs> like, oh, we're a you laugh, we laugh, but man, people are so freaking stupid about tech. You put like, it's got like a wire and some shiny bits. So you put like an LED on it. They're gonna think, oh god, the fuck is that thing? It's a battery. Yeah, they took LED. down Boston over light brace doing this. I never could forget. That was the best day ever. Dude, everybody's like, all the police are all they're all losing their minds and we're sitting here going, fucking Aqua Teen Hunger Force, man. 
Like the stoners they had, watching like, an APB out for the dude in dreads hanging him up. I, uh, and I'm like, that dude is in a Baja and dreads. I promise you, he is too baked to be any kind of terrorist. Like, the people who 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 are stoned and staying up to like 3 a.m. to watch fucking adult swim had more background information on the case than the fucking cops did. Literally, if any cop had asked like their 13 year old son. <laughs> The whole thing could have been resolved in an hour. Yeah. Well, speaking of completely gullible and uninformed idiots, going to Florida for this one. The the question must be asked. Is our educators learning? <laughs> oh, is that who I... No, it's not. Okay. It's not her, but... They all seem to have the like same. They, they have the same fucking hairstyle, don't they? Uh, they all need an Olaplex treatment so bad. Florida if, Prince. If, you, if you're if you're blonde and it's not real blonde, you need an Olaplex treatment. I just want you to know that you need an Olaplex treatment. Florida principal who sent a hundred thousand dollars to scammer to scammer scammer posing as Elon Musk. Says she was, quote, groomed. That's not what that word means. No. Oh, kill Florida. Not. Principal of a charter school in Volusia County resigned after writing a $100,000 check to an internet scammer posing as Elon Musk. Dr. Jam McGee. Twitter verified is that. Doctor. Like super extra plus verified. Doctor, Tara. Doctor Jan McGee. Fucking doctor. Worked at Burns Science and Technology Charter in Oak Hill since its inception. The school and McGee have always uh, been well thought of. Uh, it's an A rated with just under a thousand students and a huge rating, waiting list. The principal who guided it all these years is a superstar in many circles, but a huge lapse in judgment has caused her job. Why are you trying to be like, oh, she's okay. She's okay. Um, no. I quote, I am a very smart lady, well-educated. I fell for a scam. Really? McGee told a packed audience she was taken in by a fake Elon Musk, someone posing online as the space pioneer. He's not a space pioneer. He hasn't done anything. He's not an engineer. Someone she'd been talking with for at least four months, despite being warned by staff that the person was a fraud. Hey, everybody, I'm talking to Elon Musk. Jam, that's not Elon fucking Musk. No, no, it says so. He's got the blue check and everything. Jan, it's not Elon the fucking next, Musk. The next quote. Yeah, I know. Quote, grooming is when you talk to somebody and you believe in them and they get you to trust them that this is really real, so I fell for it. No, honey, that's that's not what that is. That's not at all what grooming is, actually, no. Th this is, that's it's not. It's, as everybody knows, grooming is letting drag queens exist. Yeah, apparently, I guess that was. That was joke. For years, Principal McGee talked to anyone who would listen about getting Musk and his money involved in the STEM school, a stone's throw from the Space Coast, and apparently thought she'd finally gotten his ear. Somehow, she believed it. He must have been really convincing. She wrote a $100,000 check out of the school's account. See, that's why she lost her job. It wasn't her money. It was the school's money. And I... I but also... If if you're trying to get Elon Musk to invest in the school, why are you giving him money? Oh yeah, matching funds. So you give him a lot, the, the and then he would put in six million. See, that's that's how that works somehow. It doesn't though. It doesn't. It really, I, I, really doesn't. I work for a nonprofit. I do yeah. social media for a cat rescue, and they do matching challenges. Yeah. And that's not how a matching challenge works. That is not um, how a matching challenge works. At no point are you giving large amounts of money to the person you're hoping to give you large amounts of money whose father that Emily want. 
He doesn't need your money. I mean, he might by now. Well, yeah, actually, he he kind of does, but he he does. Yeah, you know, actually, that does seem. For one thing, he will talk with any goddamn rando on Twitter who yeah who jerks him off. Yeah, um, and also he is about. He might be like, "Hey, you got a hundred grand." Yeah, you know, actually, are we sure the scammer wasn't Elon? Because he is a bit broke right now. Are we sure? Because maybe she was trying to get every kid at the school verified. <laughs> <laughs> How? Do you know what I found out today? What? Apparently, apparently, I don't know if this is still true, but supposedly. Someone told me that it it would cost extra at the beginning to buy a Tesla in any color other than white. I don't know that for sure. And the first thought, I don't know. She 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 had a friend that bought a Tesla and was getting it painted, and that was why. And the first thought in my head that immediately came out of my mouth was, "That is incredibly not self aware for a company owned by a fucking South African." <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so what have we learned if it's true so what have we learned this week well for, for one thing we've learned you can have a doctorate and still get fooled by someone online like you always used to wonder how those nigerian print scandals actually grant yeah. or scams that actually you know, apparently you can you can be a doctor and still what the fuck eight years in school don't do nothing We've learned that um, maybe don't do the grown-up crimes at 20 because not old enough to drink, old enough to go to jail. So you going to have bad yeah. times. I feel like if you're doing the grown-up crimes, you've done enough drinking before you were legal anyway. You're probably cool. We've learned that just because you are, you, you, you've got your VPN on the 4chans, that doesn't mean they're not going to find you. They, they're going to find you. You dumb, silly shit. You fucking idiot. That shit's a felony. You stupid. You have left a fucking orgy of evidence, you fucking idiot. An HBO documentarian ran down Q. Yeah. There, there's... Like, fuck, like... Yeah. We've learned if you... It's not there. Yeah. We've learned if you need to escape uh, from a, a bad situation, insulation is not a good hiding place. Not in any way. Sh just that is just, oh, wow. I'm itching. Like the oh, damage wow. that will do, like, you definitely inhaled some of it. Ooh. So now you're going to die of mesothelioma in 20 years. Although certainly some of it got in your eyelashes, so your corneas are fucked. Don't. And you're going to be itchy for the rest of your life. <sighs> We've learned that if you're if you're having a problem with your kid's school, don't 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 bite the cop. That's going to follow your kid forever. Don't don't be that mom. I, I, I don't even know if there is that mom. I, I how how is don't be don't be don't be the zombie mom. Don't. And finally, we've learned. If you're going to steal a forklift, don't don't scream to passersby. I literally stole this. That's what's known as admissible evidence. I feel like we're missing in that quote a bra. <laughs> like I feel like he was actually yelling, I literally stole this bra. <laughs> Can you hear it? Yes. The sentence the sentence doesn't sound complete without it. Oh, <sighs>